A very, very exciting card has released today, guys. Make your mark. Ah, oh, the Gula is here. Of course, one of the hottest prospects in real-world football. Let's see how he performs for Turkey. And let's see how this card performs in-game. For cheap, reliable, and fast FC24 coins for team of the season, make sure you go to lootbar.gg. Lootbar.gg currently offers you the 5% tax cover, a refund guarantee, 5% bonus for free, and bonuses on your coins. They also have a 24-7 customer support team, so if you are struggling, you will be able to get that sorted very quickly, as well as incredible reviews, so you know you can trust them. If you do want coins for team of the season, make sure to check out lootbar.gg and use code VIPER for 8% off all of your orders. Orders. The link to loopbar.gg is down in the description, so go and check it out. Now, guys, this card is very interesting for a few reasons. First of all, five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. He's only an 88-rated squad with a team of the season or team of the week, and an 86-rated squad with a team of the week or team of the season as well. Four-star weak foot, most explosive, high, medium, five foot, nine. Four playstyle pluses, and actually, in my opinion, the first player that we've had before playstyle pluses, that actually has really, really good pluses just across the board. Finesse, silver. Dead ball, silver. Whipped and tiki taka, silver. Long ball pass, plus. Incisive, plus. Technical, plus. Flare, first touch, plus, which is super underrated in my opinion. Press proven and quick step. His alternates are interesting. He can play cam centre mid and right wing, which is really, really interesting. It's going to be quite important to see what his physicals are like his strength aggression and stamina which we're now going to go and take a look at first of all the shooting very very good shooting from distance okay finishing and attack positioning good pace better acceleration than sprint speed is what you want his passing is crazy 95 vision and crossing 93 kick accuracy who cares 96 short pass 94 long pass 99 Curve. I can already see the issue with this card, guys, and it's in the dribbling. He's got great agility and balance, almost maxed out. 88 reactions is very, very poor. We're going to have to boost that, sadly. 96 ball control, 98 dribbling, and 91 composure is absolutely incredible. Also, defensively, very, very good. Good interceptions at 83. Defensive awareness at 79 is okay. 89 stand tackle is very nice. The slide tackle, nobody cares about. He's then got 82 jumping. Not going to be doing a lot of jumping, really, is he? 96 stand, which is good, considering he doesn't have relentless. And then 77 strength and 78 for his aggression. Now, I think this card is best suited as the 4-3-2-1 right centre mid on get forward. And he's essentially going to be making up as the fourth attacker. And the marksman is what interests me. Now, before you go into the comment section and you start getting your pitchforks out... Let me explain as to why. Only two chem styles, I believe. I could be wrong, but I believe only two chem styles boost reactions. Marksman and Maestro. Maestro doesn't make a lot of sense because of how good his passing is. The Marksman is very important for the finishing, the shot power, and the long shots. As you can see, up to 97 finishing, 99 shot power, and long shots. Gives that boost to the reactions. Only plus four compared to a plus eight from the Maestro. So 92 reactions. 99 ball control and dribbling but more importantly the reason i like the marksman a bit more for this card over the maestro is the physical boost he goes up to 90 jump in and he also gets 85 strength which in my opinion is a good boost to this card now as i said we are going to be playing him in the 4-3-2-1 and he is going to be the attacking sentiment on get forward that's how i'm going to play with him we're going to bring the fullbacks into the game as well and see if they can help kind of you know with the overlaps Gula can kind of play it over to Cancelo and see what he can do in terms of his long ball pass stuff but let's get into a few games and see what he can do okay guys here we go first game now coming up with Arda Gula I've got the Belgium game onto the left of me and Belgium are actually losing 1-0 to Slovakia right now and Slovakia don't look half bad that Hansko isn't just good on FC24 he's very very good in real life anyway let's get into this game oh Slovakia nearly scored again yeah let's get into this game and see what Gula can do as I say in my personal opinion, this is probably the, the best playmaker on FC24. Um, you know, he, he he has got crazy, crazy play styles. Oh, my God. Straight away. Oh, I didn't know he was left-footed. Oh, I've had a clanger there. I've never seen him actually play in real life, and I know that's really, really poor. But I haven't. At least I'm being honest with you guys. Let's not, let's, let's not do that, shall we not? Let's not be doing that. Oh, dear. 
Oh dear, no thank you. Into Gula here. We'll play it over there. Yeah, okay, so he's definitely left footed. So maybe it would make more sense as a left centre mid. Go on, play it, play it. That is something, guys, that you... Oh. Let me tell you, man. Let me tell you. I want to test out his finesse shots as well because he's got max out curve, max out shot power, and long shots. So I'm expecting his finesse shots to be quite nice. Here we go again. Bit of technical with the first touch there. This car is... is it, it, uh, this card is going to be sick. I don't know how the hell he's missed that open net there. That's terrible. This card is going to be amazing. This card, I promise you guys, this card is going to be amazing. I, I really don't know why EA have been doing this as of late. They must really like Gula in real life to give him four insanely good playstyle pluses. He is going to be one of the best creative midfielders on the game. 100%. It's not going to be about scoring goals with this card. You know, we will try and get a few goals with him, but... He is going to be insane for creating chances. And that, that is the way you should play with this card. He's, he's not there to be a, a, a goal scorer per se. Oh my God, I haven't even aimed that there. It's not where I've aimed that. Nice, Carlos. You know, into him again here. Now, if you guys know how to abuse first touch, by the way, I should be doing some sprint boost into the first touch. I'm just trying to fill out his technical dribbling. And if I'm being honest, his technical dribbling has let me down a little bit in these early stages here. Not been super impressed. Wow, how's he not scored that? Um, yeah, his technical dribbling doesn't feel too good. That's probably because he's got first touch plus as well, though. And it's kind of merging together. That's nice. Good spin there from him. Not even a spin, just good turn. Is he offside? I mean, I played it so early. Oh, it's a bit tough. Nice Barcola. Well, this is going to be a, a stop-start game, guys. So we're going to stay live for a bit of time here. Because I really am interested to know how good this Gula is. Or maybe how underwhelming he is, you know? Or... Wow! Wow, wow, wow! Wow, what a strike that is, guys. I really hope Turkey do some things, man. I really hope Turkey do some things. I'm a Turkey fan. As I said to you guys, there, there is not a player... On the game, in my opinion, that's got four better play styles for the position he plays. You know, I, I know they've only just started giving... Piss off, game. They've only started giving four play style pluses just now. But a lot of the four play style pluses they've been given, a lot of the cards still essentially have three play style pluses. You know, if, if you look at that Garnacho, for example, I know some people like it, but Trickster Plus, in my opinion, not a very good play style. You look at that Javi Simmons, he got two awful play style pluses. You know, when his his uh, his team of the season had three amazing playstyle pluses. So it's, it's just very, very interesting to see the way EA are doing that. This Gula's technical dribbling isn't as good as I thought it was going to be. I'll tell you that straight away now. He hasn't been disappointing, though. He has not been disappointing. He, he's kind of doing what I expect him to do. He's making that run there, too. Into him. Nice. And that's what you've got to remember with this card, guys, right? He's not just going to be... A player where you go through and score goals with him. He is going to be a maestro. He's going to be a cre creative player for you. And, you know, some people would argue that playing him in the position I'm playing him in isn't the best use of him. But he's got good enough defending. He's He doesn't look that small in game. He doesn't have, like, a small body type. So I, I, feel, I feel like this position for him is actually working quite well. Um, which I didn't really expect. It's been a good 30 minutes for Gula here. Um, you know, assist and a goal and a really, really good goal, may I add. Let's go to some highlights. Yeah, his technical dribbling's good, but it's it's not even as good as, like, Harry Kane's. You know, it, it feels a little bit like touch and go, I would say. Here's again, good sprint boost. Finesse shot. His finesses aren't bad. His finesses really aren't that bad. Um, you know, you're not going to score a lot of them with him. You know, that was his weak foot as well, of course. But his finesses are pretty good considering he's only got finesse silver. This is where he's going to be good when he's got a bit of time on the ball, a bit of time to assess the options. And then, of course, you've got Cancelo, who I've got on joining attack and overlap. And he's going to be able to spread that pass every time. So, so undervalued, the ability to be able to do that in your midfield. And yeah, I must, I must say, guys, this is a very, 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 very decent card. Yeah, as you can see, guys, his technical dribbling is just a little bit Heavy touchy. I don't know why it's like that. Because I'm getting good gameplay right now. 
but it just doesn't feel as sharp as like a lot of other players that you would use. Back into him again here. He, he is a creative player, guys. You know, I don't know how Goretzka was offside there. He didn't look it. But he's very, very creative. He, he, he's ultimately a playmaker. You know, if you want to play him, if you play the 4-2-3-1, for example, he'd be a great middle cam. That's what I'm kind of thinking with this card, right? He's an absolute number 10 that's meant to get involved and, you know, set, set up for other people, you know? Into him again here. And then here we go. Borrell scoop into that pass over to Cancelo. That's awesome. That's really, really good pass as well. That's what this card can offer you, you know. He, he, he's, a, he's a really, really creative player, man. Really creative. As we're going to score again here. Oh, he's moved the keeper. He's moved the keeper. Now, the Guler again on his weak peg. Oh, my God. Oh, it's nearly gone in again. Oh, my God. He does feel actually quite fast as well. Yeah, that's good technical dribbling. That was a very, very nice technical dribbling. Now, I'm going to go back into him here. I'm going to assess the options a little bit. Okay. Okay, something's changed, guys. Technical dribbling is on fleek with him now. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Do, do you know what he does as well, really well? His, uh... His just left stick dribbling feels very good for a box-to-box -box midfielder, like the best you'll use. There you go. A bit of defending from him there as well. I want to do another finesse with him. Really badly. We try, try, let's try and line it up. No. Okay. They're just going to be hit and miss, of course, because he doesn't have finesse pass. Into Gula again here. We're trying to wait for this run of Carlos Alberto and Barcola. There's the ball. Oh, lovely pass. Barcola's in. Barcola, oh, he's got a score. Here goes Gula. Wow. Little dink. Oh, got that choice there. I don't know if he's onside. He is. He is. And he scored. Nice, nice, nice. He has a little bit of physical to him, as you can see there, guys. That was mad. Back into him. Another finesse shot. It's not bad, but they're just not going to go in consistently. Oh. Love his dribbling, guys. Oh, man. Yeah, I've, I've changed my opinion on his technical dribbling. It's a bit different to what probably you're all going to be used to. It's a little bit harder to use. For some reason, he feels a little bit heavy with it, but it, it is nice. It is nice. What a run that is from Gula. What a run. He's moved the keeper out of the way, and Gula's scored again. Jeez, man. Love it. Oh, man, I really like his dribbling. I really like his dribbling. This, this is one of the best midfielders, like creative midfielders on the game. End of story. All right, guys, my review is in on Gula. Now, I don't want to waste too much time here, but I just want to quickly say that this is one of the best cards on FC24 from a midfield standpoint. So, so good on the ball because of his technical dribbling. Yeah, it's a bit different to the usual, but his technical dribbling is incredible. Being able to turn on a sixpence because of first touch plus as well, if you know how to utilize that, is just amazing. His left stick dribbling because he's got press proven as well is absurd. Quick step mixed with first touch plus is also insane if you know how to use and abuse that. Then you've got his passing qualities. Now, it's a shame he doesn't have pink silver. Tiki Taka is amazing, and it's really, really good with him. Whipped pass, you're not going to really get too much from on this card. Long ball pass pass is insane. His balls are so, so good. Yeah, take out of context, whatever. And his through balls were very, very nice. In terms of the finesse shots, very, very hit and miss. But what this card does offer is just absolute creativity. He's suited to the number 10, 100%, but certainly can play that right centre mid or left centre mid role in the 4 3 2 1. And for me personally, I'm going to keep him in my team. That's how good I think he is. I feel like I'm now going to become a Turkey fan. This is an absolute must-complete SBC, guys. Decent shooting. Very good pace. Very, very insane passing. Great dribbling bar the reactions. Decent defensively and has enough physical to hold his own in that midfield spot and get forward. So you can use him basically any way you want, which is you know so important on this game, in my opinion. Very, very versatile player. Can play him striker, cam, centre mid, CDM as a two pivot on, you know, kind of box to box uh, with this Gula. But he's able to play a considerable amount of positions. And I think he's absolutely brilliant, guys. So he's a 10 out of 10 complete for me. And all of you should have this guy in your club, probably in your starting 11 as well. Guys, if you haven't enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell to play with you. But guys, that's going to be it from me for now. So take care.